another Arduino project that I um, realized recently was inspired by the fact that um, I was looking for a way of interacting with my sequences in a much more human way, especially when um, tempo changes were needed. Um, few DAWs have uh, some really cool features that allow you to tap the tempo in order to conduct your sequencer. And uh, most of these uh, DAWs allow you to do so by hitting a key on the keyboard. But um, while that is fairly musical, it doesn't get close enough to me um, to what you would do when you conduct a real ensemble. So I wanted to develop something that would allow me to conduct naturally with gestures my DAW. And Arduino gave me uh, the answer here um, when I built this project. This project is basically an Arduino uh, microcontroller to which I attach a MIDI output and a Nintendo nunchuck. The really cool thing about a nunchuck is that it allows you to um, detect your movement through an accelerometer that is built in in the nunchuck. While other accelerometers are available for Arduino, I wanted something that was already built and was easy to, uh, to program. So, and this was the answer. So what I did is to connect a nunchuck to my Arduino board. I use a, a nine pin connector for um, stability and to have something sturdier than the regular uh, nunchuck connector. And what I did was basically to uh, come up with the software that will allow me exactly to conduct my DAW. The idea is that every time I switch direction, a MIDI note is sent out through the MIDI output. And uh, that will allow me to control uh, my DAW, in this case, a digital performer. For the nunchuck controller, um, the connections are very simple. So I have a standard nunchuck that I connected to my Arduino board through a nine pin connector that is much more sturdy um, than a regular nunchuck controller. And also uh, using this, it allow me to, um, not to damage the, the controller connections. So I used an extension cord, a nunchuck extension cord. So I kept my nunchuck intact and I just, uh, alter the, um, the, the nunchuck controller to fit a 9-pin connector. On the other side, I have a regular standard uh, MIDI out, 5 pinned in, that connects to your MIDI interface. What I wanted to have control over was uh, the sensitivity of the controller. So what I did is that I assigned um, this button here to three different levels of sensitivity and in order to um, give me a feedback uh, on each level of sensitivity I put an LED that changes according to the level of sensitivity so it's very very sensitive um, the least sensitive and a medium setting of sensitivity also, I wanted to have a visual feedback of my counting, of my um, where the beats would fall. Would fall. So, if I start moving the nunchuck, let's get um, let's pick a, a medium level. The the LED will flash every time a beat is detected. So, if I start moving my nunchuck, and I press the on button, now my uh, LED will flash every time a beat is detected by my movement. And so that gives me a visual, an immediate visual feedback. Uh, if I don't have the on button pressed, then nothing will happen. So I have control over when I want my bits to be actually sent to my DAW. Now let's see it in action with um, some music. Okay, now let's see the nunchuck uh, baton uh, in action. What I have here is a sequence in Digital Performer uh, that I already played and now I'm going to conduct it 
using my Arduino uh, nunchuck device. I set up the device on a low um, sensitivity. I set up a digital performer in tap tempo mode and uh, we're ready to go. I'm gonna give one bar of three, four as a count up and then we're in. Here we go. We can conduct our DAW with a regular uh, conductor gesture. I hope you enjoyed it.